Hello, I hope you are doing great. Today, we are going to continue talking about .NET Core, specifically about how to send payments to your users. Now, before we continue, please remember to visit fairplaytube.ptiCostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee link, and select a donation of your choice. This will help us to keep the videos free for you. Now, let's continue. So, as you know, one of the features that we are going to have in Fair Play 2 is allowing users to apply to video jobs. Those jobs will be jobs to improve the insights, improve the generated captions, things like that, right? So, it is vital that we send, that we are able to send emails or send payments to our users. Now, one of the ways in which you can do that is using payment gateways such as PayPal. We are actually using PayPal in this platform. PayPal has a feature named Payouts and that basically allows you to send a payment to a PayPal account. So, how do we do it? Now, we have here the code. As you know, Fairplay 2 makes use of a custom library that we have designed in PTI to optimize or to speed up the development of certain services. We also have that library uh, creating, having some service to speed up the development of um, PayPal API requests. So, you see that here we have the payout controller. Payout controller, basically, we are going to send a payment, right? We are going to send a payment related to a video job, right? So, send video job payment. And this one should not na be named like this. This is the endpoint, so it must not have a sync in this case. Uh, so, we get the video job. Remember that the structure that we have is we have a video job, we have video jobs applications, right? And then we are going to associate the payment to one of those applications. We are only going to allow one application to be marked as selected, right? Because only one user will be able to uh, perform a specific video job. Multiple persons will be applied, but only one will be selected for that job. Now, so we have the video job, we get the user ID from the current user provider. This is to verify the login user, just to verify that the user login is, or invoking the endpoint, is the owner of that video on that job, right? If it is not the owner, we throw an exception. Now we look for the accepted application. The accepted application is the one marked with the status ID equals to selected, right? Okay, and then we get the user email address. Now, currently we are assuming that the registered email address of the user account is the same they use on PayPal, but that may not be the case. So we are eventually going to add a couple more of tables to create the, so they can link their PayPal profile in the case they have, or they use another email for PayPal, right? Now, the detailed message, in this case, we are only going to do it in English for the moment, right? So, we put some message in there. You have been paid for your work on Fairplay 2 platform, the job title, the job description, and the amount being paid, right? Then, we do this create payout request. This payout request is a class that we have created in our PayPal service library. Now, uh, this basically has the structure for the PayPal requests. So we have to send the batch header. The batch header will basically be a message which is going to have the detailed message, a subject which is going to have, you have been paid on Fairplay 2, an ID, we are going to auto-generate it over the moment. We are going to pay in dollars. We set the value with um, currently it's a string for some reason um, seems that the P 
PayPal API receives the amounts as strings. So I had to mark it as a string. I need to check that, but uh, I believe that's the case. So thank you for using PayPal for the tool, right? You know, we said the detailed message, notification language is going to be in English, United States. The receiver is going to be the person we are going to send this to. In this case, we are going to send it to an email address. Mark, we mark the recipient type is going to be an email. And we have to generate the sender item ID. Now, then we connect or we get the access token for the PayPal um, for PayPal API. We invoke the create batch payout um, API endpoint for bet for PayPal, and we create the batch. The batch is basically a set of payouts, right? So you see, this is an email that's going to be sent to multiple persons, and each item is going to have the payment configuration for that specific person. In this case, we are only going to send it to one person, so it's only going to be a batch of one item. Now we create this. These are the structures of the data we are going to save into the database. Now it is vital that when you are working with um, monetary transaction, right, everything that handles money, it is vital that you save all of the data that you are working with, or at least most of it, so you can do cross-reference and check everything, right? Especially in case that you need to do auditing, uh, for example, in banks or things like that. So it is really important that you save everything into the database or in any persistent storage that you can uh, verify all of your transactions. Uh, so we create the structures on the database, right? We add the table. Now we need to deduct this from the video creator, right? The one, the person who created the job. Uh, it, that person is the one who needs to be paid. This actually needs to be verified before the whole process. So we need to verify that if um, the the available if the available funds or actually if the amount to deduct is lower or equal than available funds he will be able to pay otherwise he won't be able to pay and you need to inform the user that he has no money to pay and he needs to add, add funds to the wallet now we said if everything succeeds, we set this to paid, and then we save the changes. So we, we will fix this logic later on, but now we are going to test so you can see a little example of how this um, will work. So let's run the application. Uh, currently, I don't have the UI implemented, so we are going to work with um, Swagger at the moment. Okay, so here I am in the Swagger UI page, right? We authorize it. Now <clears throat> we go to payout. In this case, I know that the video job is one, right? Or that's the ID, uh, because that's the one I am using for testing. Now we go to, to this, right? We, already hit the controller we go to the send payment we get the user right we verify if the user is the owner we get the accepted application the accepted application okay and we get the email address now the email address i need to change it right so you so it uses my um, paypal sandbox now you will see that in here, in recent activity, I will have for November 4, I will only have two items in here, right? So now we are going to continue with this. We continue with this. We get the PayPal access token. We send the batch to the PayPal API. We get the response, right? We already got a response and the response says 
that the batch status is pending. This is the payout batch ID, right? And we have the subject and the batch ID in here. Now we send this, we add this, we do 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 do, we uh, the job cache status ID. Okay, see this is the reason why you need to do the verification before the whole process because in this case I am working with negatives, so he shouldn't have been able to pay at the moment, right? So, save changes. <laughs> and you will see that if I refresh this, I should have a new uh, anyone in here. And now it says, Payment received. You have been paid for your work on Fair Play 2 platform, specifically on the video title, Test Video 909. Uh, job title enhanced video transcription job now if I click that you will see that this is the the information for the PayPal sandbox I added the note in here just uh, so you can so the person can actually see it in here and we have in here the details this is the amount seven dollars so this user uh, has been gained or has earned seven dollars this is the sandbox, of course, right? This is for testing, but that's the idea once this um, work is actually finished. So I hope this has been useful for you. Uh, remember that Fair Play 2 is an open source, or it has actually an open source, open source version that you can check, and the code is actually on GitHub. Thank you very much, and have a great day. And also, please remember to use the Buy Me A Coffee icon to help us keep the videos and projects free for you. Have a great day.